God took care of Ruth and Naomi, so I know he'll take care of me and my homies. Welcome, everybody, to the J. Sadie Variety Show, and praise the Lord. Well, howdy, everybody. I'm J. Sadie Gray, and I'm here with my sister, Lenny. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, springtime is starting here in the South. Today, we're going to talk about spring harvest. First, we have a song for you by Dennis Jernigan titled, The Blessing Song. May the Lord answer you in the day of your trouble. May the name of the Lord be your strong, mighty tower. And may he grant to your hearts deepest dreams. And desires may he answer each time you call, and may he pour out the blessing of heaven, and may you cast your cares on him and daily fall. States, so Naomi returned and Ruth the Moabitess, her daughter in law, with her, which returned out of the country of Moab, and they came to Bethlehem in the beginning of barley harvest. Well, barley harvest was in the spring, so Ruth was in those fields harvesting all spring. We have spring harvest around here. Before we get to the cold of winter, People plant things like leafy greens, garlic, winter peas, some root vegetables, and a few plant winter wheat. So now is the time to harvest all those plants. Now also is the time to harvest our winter blessings by thanking the Lord for each one of them. This winter, Lenny and I are thankful that we didn't have to shovel snow. 
Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. We are thankful that through the winter, we had a warm home, hot and cold running water, that we had traveling mercies wherever we went. And we are always thankful that we have our five senses and that we have each other. So by thanking the Lord for our blessings is how we harvest them. If you've never harvested your blessings, just pray this prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, please forgive me of my sins. I believe Jesus is your son and that he died on the cross and he rose from the dead. And thank you, Father, for all the blessings you've given me. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you're saved if you believe in your heart that prayer you just prayed. Tell a saved loved one, and by reading your Bible daily, your faith will grow. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, it's time for another song, and here is Luther Barnes singing, You Keep On Blessing Me. Every day of my life, I get a new blessing. Well, the Lord says new blessings my way. And he does it over and over and over again. Come on, y'all. Talking about the Lord now. something to be thankful for. All you have to do is to be willing to explore. If you will open up your heart and your mind, all kinds of blessings you will be able to find. Some are so small, they don't get our attention, but for each of them, God has a good intention. Some are so obvious, you don't need to search far. 
for everyone can see them from right where they are. Whether our blessings are big or if they are small, we need to be thankful to God who supplies them all. Yes, there's always something for us to be thankful for, and we need to be grateful so God can send us more. Well, we're about out of time, and we thank you for listening. We have you in our prayers. If you have a prayer request and you'd like Lenny and I to pray about it, just private message us on Facebook at J. Sadie Gray, G R A Y, or on our website, jsadiegray.com. Also, Lenny wanted me to tell you that on our website, we post a new blog each month. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, we're going to leave you now with the Jackson Southern Airs singing, He Keeps on Blessing Me. And have a blessed week. Jesus' name.